Hey everyone, my name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders at Vectorshift. Uh, and today we're gonna walk through building a pipeline for automatically categorizing your emails coming into your inbox and then performing some set of functionality based on what category that email fell into. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna navigate over to the pipelines tab, which is where you can build you know, any custom AI workflow. Uh, click new, and I'm gonna create a pipeline from scratch. So from this point, we want this pipeline to trigger every single time a new email lands in our inbox. So I'm gonna go over here to triggers and I'm gonna select Outlook. We also have support for Gmail and I'm gonna look for the new email trigger, which basically means every time I get a new email, this node is gonna run. So I already have an Outlook account connected to my vector shift. Uh, if you don't have one, you can click it, click here for connect new integration and it will automatically pop up a window for you to log into Outlook or Gmail if you're using Gmail and then it'll automatically connect it into this node when you're done. And then I'll click next. And once again, the event is new email. And for my mailbox, I'm gonna select my inbox. Cool, so that's the end of this note. And now whenever we get a new email, we're gonna get access to all of this information right here. So next step, I want to take the email and I want to categorize it into one of a few different categories. Let's say I'm interested in customer support emails and recruiting emails, all right? So I'm gonna go over here to data transformation, uh, drag down AI ops and select the categorizer. So this is the node that will automatically take some text and fit it into one of a few different categories based on which category matches it best. So for the text I want to categorize, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the subject of the email. So here, choose the subject. Uh, I'll put in the sender for the email. So I'll open up the double curly braces here, select the email and put in the sender and then the body of the email. So here, Outlook and then contents here. Cool. And for additional context, I'll just say you categorize emails. Uh, might help a little bit. So for the different categories, I said I want customer support um, and uh, recruiting here. And I'll also put in an other category just in case some, an email doesn't fall into one of these two, which a lot of them won't. So then what would be helpful is we want to give it some descriptions for each of these categories so it knows what to categorize into that category versus other things. So for customer support, I'll put in any questions and bug reports uh, from existing Vectorshift customers. For recruiting, I'll put in introductions to candidates or inquiries regarding open roles. And then other, I'll put in anything that doesn't fall into customer support or recruiting categories. Cool. So now we will get an output that is the category and that output will be one of these three. That's the guarantee. So at this point, what we want to do is we want to change the logic that this pipeline is gonna execute based on which category this categorizer put out. So for that, we're gonna go down to logic and drag down a condition node. So the condition node basically lets you take in some inputs, uh, check against some condition that you define in one of these paths, and then execute one of several different paths of the pipeline after the condition node runs. So in this case, I'm interested in the categorizer and what category it put out. And if that category is equal to customer support, that means this was a customer support email. And I also want some logic for when the categorizer put out a recruiting category. So these just match up with these things we put here, right? So for path zero, this is gonna be the customer support path. So what I wanna do here is I'll just put down an LM and I'll ask it to summarize the customer support message for me uh, and the contents of it so that I can better understand it. So for that, I'll pass in a subject. So here we can once again use the outlook, the subject, and I can use the body again of the email. So uh, contents here, great. And I'll use 40 for that. And then I want this to happen in path one. So I'll just drag, or sorry, path zero. So I'll just drag path zero over to this. So now this will only happen after this is customer support because this was path zero. Path zero is going into this LLM. And then when this happens, I want it to send a Slack message for me. So I'll just go here and search Slack, drag down this, send message. Once again, I have Slack connected. If you don't, you can just connect it by clicking on it and connecting your Slack. And I'm going to send it to the vector shift uh, customer support channel, right? And the message I want is, let's say the email sender. Okay, so this is the sender, the subject um, right there, and the summary that was generated by the LM. So here, I'll put that on a new line, actually, the open AI zero, and then the response. So this will send me a Slack message into the customer support channel with the sender email, the subject that they sent, and then the summary of whatever they asked uh, as summarized by this LLM. Now let's go down the other path here. So path one, 
Um, and this will be for recruiting. So in this case, I'm going to make an assumption. It may not be true of all recruiting emails, but I'm going to assume that uh, they may have attached their resume and that the first thing they attached would have been their resume if they did. So I'm going to go ahead and go to data transformation here, close out a select, and I'm going to take this list ops node. So this basically lets us take lists of things and manipulate them somehow. So specifically, if we go all the way back to here, this Outlook node, you'll notice we have an attachments output, which is a list of files. That means that all of the attachments that were attached to this email is going to come out as this list of files. I want to get the first file because I'm assuming that they're, the list of attachments that they may have attached the into, uh, to the email, the first one will be their resume. So I'm going to go ahead and get list item. I'm going to choose uh, the type to be file. So we're looking for lists of files. And here, outlook zero dot attachments is our list of files. And I want to get index zero. So this is zero indexed. So that means the first item is index zero. So this will be their resume if they've attached it. And then uh, I want to save this to a folder in Google Drive. So let's go ahead to integrations. I'll, I mean, here's G Drive right here. I'll save a file. Once again, I have it connected. Um, click next. So I want to save it into my resumes folder right here. Great. So I'll name this file that I'm saving in Outlook Zero. Uh, dot, well, let's let's use the sender email first. So I want to know who sent it. I'll put a dash in here, and then I'll I'll take the subject. So this this will be how I name my files. And then for the file, I want to get the file from this list item node. And finally, I want this list item node only to run after path one. So here I connected path one to this list item node. This makes sure that it only runs if we said it was a recruiting email. So we're actually done. This pipeline now will take in um, an Outlook email, categorize it, uh, run it through this condition. So if it was a customer support email, it will go up into the open AI, summarize the email, and then send me a Slack message to my customer support channel. And if it was a recruiting email, I'll grab the first attachment and I will save it into my resumes folder in Google Drive. So if I go ahead and click deploy here, uh, this is now live. So I don't know, I'll go over to a different screen and I'll send here, here's an Outlook. This is one of my Outlook inboxes. Um, I'll go ahead and send a support message to this. So I was testing with this one before, I can send it again, just to show you. Um, so here we go. Um, I'll just send the same message just to show you what happens. So go here and I'll send. So in a bit we'll be, sent, we'll be receiving uh, an email into this inbox here. Uh, that'll just have the same contents as this. And what you'll see is it will trigger our pipeline and I'll see a Slack message pop up with it in our customer support channel. So if I show you that real quick. Okay, so here's the customer support channel. We just got the email, right? So as you can see, help with condition node, some text regarding what the customer was talking about. And if I pull up in Slack, here we go. Just received within you know the same minute, a response summarizing the message. Uh, with the subject and the sender. So that's the customer support side of things. Let's say I wanted to send uh, a resume. So this would be the um, the other side of the pipeline. Uh, I can once again um, send myself an email with this. Go ahead and copy the contents of this email as well. And I'll attach my resume on the side over here. Um, Okay, so I should be receiving an email with that soon. I can also send a random email. So if I go ahead and, I don't know, uh, let's say, is your day going? And just ask. So I, I will also, on the side here, I'm sending myself an email that just includes um, nothing. So we just received an email with the, uh, the resume attached. So here you can see, I'm specifying that this is a recruiting type email. The body can sort of be interpreted that way too. And I have this resume.pdf. If I go to my resumes, you'll see I now have two. This one was just saved a minute ago. This is the more recent one. And you can see it's named with the email dash, the subject of the email. Uh, and here you can see I sent myself just an email asking myself how I am. Um, and you'll notice this email has not gotten saved into resumes. And there's also no Slack message because when this pipeline ran, it categorized it into other, and we're not doing anything with other, right? So the condition node only looks for customer support and recruiting. So nothing happens when we use other. If you want to, obviously, you can introduce a bunch of additional logic. Like if you wanted to, for example, 
take the resume that someone may have submitted and like check if it was actually a resume or you know score it somehow based on some criteria you could take this file and load it send it to an llm ask it to you know score the resume and then maybe categorize it into a few different folders um, there's a bunch of stuff you can do it's effectively limitless uh, but this was just a quick tutorial to show you one really basic email categorization pipeline that you can build in VectorShift in just a few minutes. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out uh, to support at VectorShift.ai. Um, and you know, looking forward to seeing you guys on our platform. Thanks very much.